Like many online live service games, Fallout 76 will have microtransactions. Let's talk about what we know so far. Hey guys, JV here, and today I'm discussing microtransactions in Fallout 76. Keep in mind this is a speculation video uploaded on August 8th. This information could very well be proven wrong after today, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Fallout 76 videos, and head over to my Facebook page for our Fallout 4 survival mode playthrough streamed live. If you clicked on this video looking for an immediate answer, here it is. Microtransactions will be in Fallout 76, but they will be for cosmetic items only. Also, you will be able to earn these same cosmetic items through regular gameplay. This means you can choose to spend real money to get these items immediately, or you can grind for them by playing the game without paying any extra money. In the Noclip documentary, we first learned about BGS's microtransactions model in 76. Quote, microtransactions only come in the form of cosmetics, and any purchasable cosmetics available will also be available to earn through gameplay. We learn more about why BGS chose to include microtransactions in that same documentary. BGS Austin development director Chris Mayer explains that these will help pay for ongoing development costs, such as server upkeep and free content updates that come to the game post-launch. There are many interviews and tweets discussing this topic further, but Bethesda has kept to the same narrative across the board. MTX will be purchasable with real money, and they will be cosmetic only. Those same items can also be unlocked by just playing the game for no additional cost. Pretty clear-cut and easy to understand. Now let's shift gears and talk about loot boxes. Will Fallout 76 have loot boxes with their microtransactions? Honestly, I can't find any record of Bethesda even mentioning loot boxes with Fallout 76. That doesn't mean they won't be there, but I would think if they were, they'd want to get in front of any potential controversy by announcing that immediately. I think it would be exceptionally stupid for them to not announce that immediately, and also, even if they were going to do it, to, to do it in the first place after Battlefront 2 and all of the controversy with loot boxes becoming, you know, less and less acceptable. I just don't think there will be loot boxes in Fallout 76. This is how I believe Fallout 76 microtransactions will work. We will have a storefront in the pause menu, kind of like Creation Club, where we'll be able to buy exactly what we want when we want. For example, let's say I want a Vault Boy mascot head to wear around West Virginia to goof around with my friends. I'll be able to pay $3 to get that item immediately through that pause menu in that storefront. Or maybe there's a currency I'll need to buy first, then apply that currency towards my purchase. Boom, I got it, in the game immediately. This is what I would call a direct purchase system. This is in contrast to a game like Overwatch that uses loot boxes. In that game, I would spend 99 cents to open a box that gives me a chance to get that mascot head. It's a pseudo gambling mechanic that doesn't really give me what I want, it only gives me a chance to get what I want. Obviously, we want the former. We want a direct purchase system in 76, not the loot boxes. Finally, let's talk about why is this okay? Why am I okay with this microtransaction system? Well, Fallout 76 is an online game. It's a live service game. Bethesda's plan is to support this game with free updates for years to come. They've actually said that out loud. The only money anyone is ever going to be required to pay is the $60 up front, and perhaps it'll be cheaper down the line, but that fact remains. There is one price, one entry fee. That's it. That's your ticket to updates, patches, events, and content for years. So with that fact in mind, if you're going to complain about these cosmetic microtransactions that can also be earned in the game, you fall into one or several of the following categories. Number one, you're going to complain about anything Bethesda does. Number two, you're genuinely naive about how live service games work and how you fund them or three, and or three, you didn't want a live service Fallout game in the first place and would have preferred Fallout 5. The last one, I totally get. That's, that's a fair complaint. The reality is that live service games cost money to maintain. Developers are human beings that get paid salaries. Shocking. All of this costs money, and if it takes totally optional microtransactions that you can earn in the game, once again, to keep this thing running, sign me up. The thing is, you must accept this fact if you accept Fallout 76 is an online live service game. There's also a portion of you that genuinely believe that Bethesda's gonna pull a fast one and suddenly start charging for DLC, or they're gonna sneak loot boxes, or they're gonna sneak guns into the game that you can pay for, and it's gonna suddenly turn into a pay-to-win game. I don't know what planet you guys are living on where you genuinely believe that 
you know, a company like Bethesda is just going to do something like that. Like, that's just going to be forced onto players, and we're just going to have to deal with it. I can tell you right now there's going to be massive backlash if any of that happens. I don't see that happening. I don't have a crystal ball. But goodness, that would be literally catastrophic for this game. But if you genuinely believe that, feel free to come back to this video or contact me when it happens and say I told you so. To wrap up the video, I wanted to compare what I believe Fallout 76 is going to be like to other successful games that have similar models. This model is what we see in games like GTA Online and Sea of Thieves. In the case of GTA Online, paying a one-time fee and updating the game long-term genuinely works. The game is hugely popular right now with its latest update after hours and actually saw peak activity in December 2017, which is several, several years after launch. Long story short, this model has worked for other games, and it will work for Fallout 76 as long as the base game is solid on its own. That's super important and as long as they add legitimately good content for free after release. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. In the comment section below, tell me, are you okay with microtransactions in Fallout 76 in the current form that they're going to be? Does this bother you at all and why? Share your thoughts below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe for more Fallout 76 content and be sure to check out my Facebook page for our Fallout 4 survival mode playthrough streamed live. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.